Tannis, we're supporting, let's say the book weighs one kilogram. Okay. How much force are you exerting on your side? Half a kilogram. And I'm exerting half a kilogram on my side. Mm hmm Have you ever noticed that suspension bridges always sag like yeah, that? Yeah, they always have a curve. Have you ever had clothes on a clothesline? The clothesline always yeah. sags like this. Mm -hmm. Or a chain between two posts never yeah. goes straight across, always sags. Well, that's based on a yeah. very important scientific idea called vectors. Have you ever heard of vectors? No. Well, scientists diagram forces by the length of the arrow and the way it points. That is a sort of indication of how its force is applied. Hold your end again. In this case, okay. when we pick it up like this, half a kilogram on each side, assume, there'd be an arrow that goes up like this. An arrow going down like this for the book, and an arrow going like this for the fact that it's suspended. Okay. But now as we start to move the, the uh, two supports of apart. That vector still has to be two pounds over here, but we're now applying it at a great angle, aren't we? Mm -hmm. right. And the more yeah. we apply it at a great angle, the less force there's going to be there. Hold it nice and level now. Okay, pull. Get it straight. All the way. I'm pulling you. We it still haven't work. got it straight. No, it Let's do that again, straight. this time with some sort of a scale in the, in the middle so that we can see here, you hold that rubber band, okay. and I'll hold this one. Now the rubber band on each end is going to sort of represent the amount of force we're applying. Oh, okay. The more it stretch, obviously, the more yeah, force. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. let's do that again. Can you hold it up a little higher so it's off okay. the table? Okay, you can let go of your other hand there. Okay, now pull. See what happens to the rubber bands? Yeah, it's stretching quite stretching a bit. Stretching like crazy. And we're pulling, putting a great deal of force here, but obviously not enough to counteract one kilogram in the middle. We could go like that, and eventually we'd break the rubber bands. Yeah. And that's why suspension bridges are always sagged like that, because if you tried to make them go straight across, they'd probably put enough force on it to actually break the steel. Oh. Yeah.